published 1801 Eastern Standard Time, the 21st of January 2018, updated 1917 Eastern Standard Time, the 21st of January 2018. Marco Silva knew his time was up as he trudged off the pitch at Leicester's King Power Stadium on Saturday. At the time, his players had no idea. It wasn't long before they sussed it out though. Let's just get out of here lads, Silva said solemnly as Watford's players arrived back in the away dressing room after yet another defeat, their eighth in 12 games. Marco Silva knew his time was up after Watford's 2-0 defeat against Leicester at King Power that was the moment the players realised they'd be bidding farewell to their seventh manager in five years. No rollicking, no debrief, no fight. Silva's reaction was most unusual. Under the Portuguese, players were used to constructive post-match discussions. At times, he lost his temper. In particular, Silva fumed at his players during a dressing room inquest after a 2-1 defeat at Crystal Palace in December. Having taken the lead in the third minute, Watford conceded twice late on to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. Silva, who had watched his team miss a glut of chances, was incandescent. He let his players know about it. After Saturday's loss at Leicester there was no such reaction. Silva's demeanour was indicative of what was to follow. Silva's training sessions were said to be intense but very enjoyable, while at Watford Fart the players already knew was confirmed yesterday morning, a strongly worded statement from the club confirming their manager's exit and suggesting he lost focus after Everton's attempts to appoint him a new manager in November. There were also fears from within the club hierarchy that Silva's relationship with certain players had broken down while there had been a disagreement over transfer targets this month. It is understood the argument saw the club's Italian owners question why they should invest in players identified by Silva when his own commitment to the club had been in doubt. Undoubtedly, there is a semblance of truth to that argument. You need only look at the stats. Five points from a possible 33 is relegation form. It is incredible to think Watford were fifth in October. Did he lose focus? Was his head turned by Everton? The numbers make a convincing argument. However, Watford sources adamant Silva had not down tools, claiming the manager never lost the dressing room and the players are genuinely sorry to see him go. Silva's training sessions were said to be intense but very enjoyable. A far cry from the monotonous regime of previous manager Walter Mazzari. But maybe training was too intense. A key reason behind Watford's startling spiral has been the glut of injuries. Watford have 12 players on the treatment table, five of those are muscular problems, indicating a conditioning deficiency in the squad. Richarlison's right fatigue levels are of major concern after having no break in the summer in particular, Richarlison's fatigue levels are of major concern. The Brazilian has been one of the discoveries of the season, but the winger is exhausted. His season started in May, playing for Fluminense in Brazil's Serie A before moving to Watford just before the start of the season. Silva has known for weeks that Richarlison needed a break, he insists on seeing his players' individual fitness reports, which left members of the medical staff frustrated at times. But Watford's plight meant Silva simply couldn't pull star man Richarlison out of his starting eleven. There are also concerns behind the scenes that some of the club's overseas stars have been sucked in by London's attractions. Many of them are model professionals when they arrive, but they soon discover what London has to offer, said one source. There were rumours of a breakdown in his relationship with club captain Troy Deeney Silva's attention to detail is meticulous. He realises the importance of fine margins. So much so that the manager would often clear out conference rooms at the team hotel on a match day to hold shape sessions. He is also stickler for discipline, as Etienne Capoue found to his detriment after the midfielder reacted angrily to criticism from Silva during a pre-season training session. Kapoue, a regular last season, started just five Premier League games under Silva. Silva also demands impeccable timekeeping from his players, implementing a strict fine system for latecomers. Silva personally took it upon himself to ensure fines were paid. It may sound all a bit extreme, a bit controlling. But players embraced his management style because they recognised his talent. There were rumours of a breakdown in his relationship with club captain Troy Deeney. It is fair to say the pair have an honest relationship, but it was always respectful. Dini, incidentally, was due to join West Bromwich Albion this week. There is now some doubt over the potential transfer. Likewise, Silva's career has hit its own period of uncertainty.
but surely he's got enough credit in the bank to earn another opportunity in the Premier League.